Hi, this is original Opawawa that we made with three ingredients. Okay, so we normally call it Opawawa because you used to say Wawa as no in our dialect, so they call it Opawawa. So if you want to know how I prepare this Opa, let's go to my kitchen guide. Hi, lovelies, welcome to Cook with Ijama. Is your babe EJ today? I want to show you how we prepare this our Opa Enugu state. Okay my main state delicious meal you can't wait to you know see it so let's go guys so here is the upper meal already prepared grinded sieve so the first thing i'm going to add into this upper is red oil palm oil okay so after adding the palm oil i'm going to stir it okay mix the upper with the palm oil okay when you are doing that you need to boil a hot water a hot boiled water will be standby okay because they're going to use the hot water to mix the opa don't mix it with cold water no we don't use cold water you can see what i'm pouring inside is boiled hot water not warm water hot water just leave it about three minutes to cool up then you start pouring it into the upper okay so you pour the second one because you're going to be adding it little by little to be checking the upper before you put the last water don't, don't just pour the water inside the upper once no because this upper have rules and the rules is that you're going to you know turn the upper until it gets sleepy you can see the upper you know if you know how obono soup used to be yes that's how you make the upper to look okay the starch will come out the protein will come out and you will see the upper being sleepy turn with your um stick you know turning stick or you can use hand if you use uh, if you have big upper to cook, normally we use hand to turn it, but this is a small one, so you can use your turning stick and do it. So you can see the way I'm adding water and turning the upper. I hope you see how sleepy the upper is before you start adding more water. So don't add too much water so that upper will not be like moi moi. Yes, if you know what moi moi is, beans, okay, grinded cooked beans. Don't allow your upper to look like that. So make sure that you don't pour too much water in the upper. So you can see how my upper look. You can see when you raise the stick up, you will not see this the, the stick itself. You'll be seeing the upper. That's how it's supposed to be. So later I added grinded habanero pepper. Sometimes we use dry pepper, depending on the one you have, and you add salt. So that's the only ingredients we use in making this oba. Either just add oil, pepper, and salt. Okay, but sometimes we used to cook like um the one they used to call like uh, um delicious oba or special oba. Those ones are for formality. You no, know, you can add vegetable and all. But this one is the original one that we cook for a wedding traditional marriage in my own village there's if in fact if you cook rice for them they don't care about your rice what they care about is this opa and just these three ingredients is good for them don't add anything no superficial magio if you add it they're not going to eat it okay <laughs> so this is my original village food they don't joke with it they don't you know so when you are preparing it you have to be careful that the upper will not be like moi moi so you can see how i pour the upper inside the waterproof i used this rice bag trade and all the uh, pure water waterproof in nigeria so when you pour it try to tie the upper so the second one i'm going to pour i will show you what i did so you can see in that one nylon, I wanted to go put the oba in two places. Let me go, okay? Like the way they used to tie it in Nigeria, the one we used to go and buy 
from the market or street you see the way they tie it like two if you need to buy one they will cut it off for you and you buy the one you want if you want the two they will put it like that so you can see the upper the way i'm holding the mouth i'm holding it that you cannot see air you cannot see chance in the nylon so when you are tying it don't tie it going up tie it going down because if you're tying it going down it will be covering all the space that will come from that nylon with the upper so when you cook it the upper will not have mouth we used to call it mouth because uh it will look like moi moi you know those things that come out from moi moi when you cook it the up so normally when we're cooking it we used to tie the nylon very well we tie it down not tying up so that the thing will not come in the upper so guys this is the original upper so i'm going to tie it another one so you can see what i'm talking about you hold it tight you know between the upper and the nylon and you start tying you tie down you tie it down don't tie it up then lock it lock it very well if you know that the nylon you're using is not strong try to double it as in after tying it now put it in another nylon and another important thing you need to know is that when putting this up by inside the pot first of all put the pot on the burner add hot water when the hot water is boiling tie the upper and put direct to the pot don't keep your upper aside then later you put inside the pot no just tie put inside the pot tie put inside the pot anyone you tie you put inside the pot so that will make the upper to look good like this if you tie it and keep if you put it in the pot later it will look like moi moi and it will not be good to eat so guys this is the upper i made you can see how good the oil comes out everything is so good in this upper don't forget to subscribe like and share and bye